What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to go over something that I found interesting this morning. I read an article on a website called Vox.com, which I don't normally read, but I saw it come up in my news feed and decided to check it out. The title of the article is, What Made Solar Panels So Cheap? Thank Government Policy. Now that's a pretty provocative uh, title, and so I decided to read it and check it out. Now, I don't want this video to be political. I'm not saying that the government did a great job or anything like that, but let's dive into this and see what's happening here. So according to the article, the price of solar has gone down by 99% over recent decades. I know some of us might disagree with that because solar's still expensive. However, they're not comparing it to other household goods. They're comparing it to other energy technology. The research and analysis in this article comes from a study done by MIT called Evaluating the Causes of Photovoltaics Cost Reduction. Why is PV different? This study is trying to understand why the cost of solar has gone down so fast relative to other technologies in the energy sector such as coal, natural gas, nuclear, wind, and solar thermal. This graphic helps to tell the tale. Look how fast that the solar has gone down, all the way on the right there under PV, in just 30 years compared to, I mean, cold only went down about a third over 125 years. Now obviously there are a lot of factors that go into the cost reduction. This study in particular looks from 1980 to 2012 and analyzes all of these factors. So as expected, we do see some better economies of scale, better manufacturing, more efficiency, better materials, all that kind of thing. But as you can see, none of those had more than about a 25% contribution to the change in price. What's interesting is that R&D played the biggest role in the price change, specifically the public funded R&D. According to the article, policies that create incentives for private investors to develop and deploy solar panels are responsible for well over half of the decline in solar PV costs. So how did this happen? Now, according to the article, and I'm not going to get into a lot of economic theory or anything like that because I don't understand it myself, but according to the article, the government has done a good job of setting policy and setting incentives that have accelerated the technology price curve that you see here in this chart. So things like solar rebates and renewable energy mandates have pushed solar faster down this curve than other technologies in the past. So no matter what side of the aisle you're on or what political party you're associated with, I think we can all agree that the government usually doesn't do the best or most efficient job of managing things. But in this case, we can pat them on the back for doing a good job and making one of my favorite technologies, solar power, cheaper for you and me. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification icon so you know when I upload new videos.